finals. We'll have a good look at our contestants in a short while. In the meantime, let's meet our panel of judges for our monthly finals. We begin with Dr. Milagros Iben, Professor Emeritus of the College of Education at UB Diliman. From the Ateneo de Manila, instructor in philosophy is Mr. John Bulao. From the same university, the Ateneo, we have Dr. Doreen Gonzalez, Assistant Professor of the Chemistry Department. And we're joined again by Dr. Antonio Hila, Chairperson of the History Department at the De La Salle University. And now let's take a look at our contestants from the elementary, the high school, and our college levels. As I said earlier, these are returning champions. They were here before as weekly champions. Now, this is the monthly finals, and only one winner per level. Elementary, high school, and college will advance into the quarterly finals. We'll have the rest of our monthly finals when we return right after this break. So don't go away. The Universal Great Writer introduces the new Zebra Gel Pop Pen. The liquid gel ink roller ball pen. Guaranteed to write to the max. Zebra Gel Pop Pen. Come in 12 vivid colors to pop your imagination. Zebra Gel Pop. Zebra. Rainforest. Check out if their buses are working. Divine Light Academy. Let's start with you. This is Louis. He's 12 years old. He's in grade 6 and he's a grade level representative to the student council and is also a Boy Scout scribe. His dream is to become an inventor or a chemist or maybe even both. Now, Louis, what would you like to invent? Uh, I will invent something that would help the crisis. Help the, the deceased or the, the help diseases? The uh, crisis uh, in the world. Help cure a disease crisis. in the world. Crisis, in crisis. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. And, marami ating invention na gana. You want to invent happiness? Is that it, Louis? What would you like to invent? Okay, what would solve a crisis in the world? What kind of invention, Louis? Like, how to stop the pollution. How to stop mm -hmm. the pollution or a anti-pollutant, anti-pollution device. Okay, thank you very much, Louis. Your partner here is Timothy, he's 11 years old, he's in grade 5, and he's class vice president and grade level representative to their student council. Math and science are his favorite subjects. Timothy, if you had a chance to invent anything, anything in this world, what would that be? A uh, thing that would stop to... Use your imagination. You know, this world needs a lot of inventions, a lot of... Uh, new things to make life easier and better. What, what would one thing be? It could be an improvement of something that exists. Yung makakapigil sa pagsira ng ozone layer. Alright, thank you very much, Timothy. From Canosa School, let's hear your buzzer. Okay, this is Carol. She is 12 years old. She's in grade 6. And she is the class vice president and the PRO of the Glee Club. So you sing as well? Yes. And what voice is it that you you are uh, categorized under, Carol? May soprano, may alto. Ano yung sayo, Carol? Alto. Alto. And what kind of songs do you sing in your Glee Club? Mga pop songs ba to? Mga religious songs? Ano klaseng kanta? Any kind of song. Any kind of song. Pati funeral song, pwede. Ganon, Carol. Uh, and what's your favorite song, Carol? Paborito mong kanta? Just one song that you think is your favorite song right now. Yung lumalabas sa radyo, yung kinakanta na mga kaibigan mo. I don't want to miss a thing. I don't want to miss a thing. All right. Well, I, you wouldn't want to miss a thing later on, Carol. You make sure you get to answer our questions. Thank you very much. It also in grade 6 and 12 years old is M.M. Yan ang nickname ni... This is uh, Mary Ann, right? Or Melody Marie. That's right. M.M. You nicknamed her. And uh, she's the auditor of the Young Writers Club. And she hopes to study pediatric science in college. You know, pediatric science, but oh, is this the same as medicine, specializing in pediatrics? Or is this different? Well, it's the same. I just... Nagkamali lang ako dun sa sulat. Nagkamali lang sa sulat niya. Yeah, okay, well, yung mali mo, lumabas din dito. But anyway, so... Mahilig ka ba sa mga bata, M.M.? Yes. 
Okay, because you have to be fond of children to be a successful pediatrician. All right, thank you very much. Let's go to Lourdes School of Canton City. Your buzzer, please. Victor is 12 years old. He's in grade six. He's their class president and a member of the Special Math and Science Club. He says his favorite subject is art. Actually, yun din yung favorite subject ko nung grade school ako, no? But what particular field of art are you most interested in? In coloring. And in, an, an tawag dyan? In coloring and painting. Painting, coloring. Okay. Yes. Are you, you think you're a good uh, painter? I think so because I have joined many contests uh, this year. Are you, th you think you're also a humble person? Sometimes. Sometimes. Okay, just checking. Thank you very much. Let's move on to Joseph here. By the way, aside from become, become, wanting to, be, to become an artist, um, Victor would also like to be a nephrologist. For those who don't know, what, don't know what a nephrologist is, a nephrologist is a? It's a doctor that cures the disease in the kidneys. So specialist just at kidneys. Okay. Yes. Joseph, by the way, is 12 years old. He's in grade 6. Also a member of the Special Math and Science Club, Joseph hopes to be a computer engineer someday. And on the side, what keeps you busy and, uh, you know, when you're not studying, when, when you're not with your family? What are your hobbies, Joseph? Sir, uh, I often play computer games. Basta computer, may hili ka talaga sa computers. No? Okay, that should make you a good computer engineer. Let's go to Infant Jesus Academy. Your buzzer, please. These were last week's winners. They had the least time to prepare for this monthly finals. And we have Cheche or Cheska. She's 11 years old. She's in grade six. And she's the president of the Marikina Science Club and of the coordinating body in their school. Her dream is to become a doctor. What class of doctor, Cheche? OB-gynist. OB-gynist. What is OB-gynist? OB-gynecologist. It specializes the senses. Why is OB-gynecology your choice? Because it's much easier. Oh, it's not yet. Is it easy for OB-gynecology? No, then other doctors, other fields. It's easier. So, you want to be easier for your studies? Okay. Well, you'll find out, Cheche, it's not going to be easy. It's actually one of the more difficult fields of medicine. But, okay, if you type your OB-gyne, go ahead and try it. Your partner is Alden. He's 11 years old. He's in grade 5. And he's a treasurer of the science club. His favorite subjects are civics, English, and science. How about you, Alden? What would you like to be when you, uh, you're through with college? A lawyer, a lawyer sir. Uh, abogado. Apa. O anong specialization naman? Crime. Crime lawyer. Cr well, specialist sa crime. Okay, you'll be a, either a public prosecutor or a public defender. Okay, Alden and Checha, you had the least time to prepare. How did you prepare for today's monthly finals? Like aral ba kayo? Well, every day from 2 o'clock to 5 o'clock, we'll go to the library and... So, three hours every day for one whole week, nag-aral silang dalawa. All right, thank you very much. Let's move on to our questions. This is the monthly finals. Our winner moves on to the quarterfinals, just one step away from the grand finals of Battle of the Brains. We begin with questions in the easy round. Let's start with history. It's 250 pesos for every correct answer. Who was the Cebuano ruler and son of Raja Humabon? who fought against the Spaniards during the Spanish conquest of Cebu. Lourdes. It was Tupas. Who, who was this? Tupas. Okay, or Raja Tupas is correct. Science, what is the upper two-lobed part of a plant stamen, usually yellow in color and containing pollen sacs? Divine light. The anther. That's correct, anther. General information. In which province will you find Mount Arayat? Divine Light. Papanga. Correct, Papanga. <laughs> Mathematics. How many square counting numbers are between 10 and 99? How many square counting numbers are between 10 and 99? You have 30 seconds. Our contestants are using their zebra ball pens, the official ball pen of Battle of the Brains. Divine Light. Five. Wrong. We have four schools in the running. Only one of them will advance to the, the quarterly finals. Canosa. Six. Correct. The arts. What do you call the inner voice? Yan ang tawag dyan, the inner voice in man or women. 
that judges what is good or bad behavior. That inner voice judging good or bad behavior in from Jesus. Conscience. Yung conscience, that is right. History. Who was a Filipino reformist who hid under the pen names Tikbalang and Alipulaco? Lourdes. Mariano Ponce. Correct. Science. What do you call the gas given off when waste materials break down or decompose? Word is again. Nitrogen. Wrong. The main component being methane. Methane is the main component of this. Must be infant Jesus. Go ahead. Carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide is wrong. Divine light? Methane. Methane is wrong. Canosa, would you like to answer? Yes, go ahead. Decomposition. But can he has a good mo? MM. Baka tama yan, ha? Again, MM, your answer? Decomposition. Decomposition. No, the answer is biogas. All right. Let's go to general information. Ajuman Banu Begum is the name of a woman to whom her husband erected and dedicated which popular building in India? Infant Jesus. Taj Mahal. Taj Mahal is right. The husband's name was Shah Jahan. Mathematics. How much is 5 over 0 0.2 minus 2 over 0 0.5? 5 over 0 0.2 minus 2 over 0 0.5. Divine light. 21. Correct. And for the last question in this round, it's in the arts. What is the catchphrase or favorite expression of Fred Flintstone. Lourdes. Yabba Dabba Doo. Correct. Yabba Dabba Doo. And we're through with our first round. Let's check our scores in the lead. Tie between Divine Light and Lourdes Cool. They both have 750 points. And in third, second place, that is Infant Jesus with 500. In third place is Canosa School from Santa Rosa with 250 points. We'll have more of this competition when we return after this break. This portion is brought to you by Milo, the Olympic energy drink every day. Welcome back to our monthly finals. This is our final round as well. These will be difficult questions, but before we move on to that, in addition to the cash prizes, which our winners will take home with them, the grade school monthly winners will win for themselves and for their school, a Compton's Interactive Encyclopedia CD-ROM. And this is from the Bard Press Trade Incorporated, exclusive distributors of Compton's Encyclopedia. Success Unlimited Enterprises will also give a special prize to the winning school for the monthly finals. We'll know what that prize is in just a short while, but in the meantime, let's move on to our final round. And so far, it is Divine Light and Lourdes in the lead, but not too far away. It's Infant Jesus and Canosa School. It is still anyone's competition. Anyone can still win this, so let's go on. Let's start with science for 400 points. Difficult question number one. What term is given to fuels such as coal, oil, Lourdes? Fossil fuels. Correct. General information. What common names are used for the constellations Ursa Major and Ursa Minor, respectively? If I like. Mm, the great dog and the little dog. The great dog and the little dog. First time I've heard of that. Infant Jesus. Big Deeper and Little Deeper. Yes, the Big Dipper and the Little Dipper. Sounds really cute, the Little Dipper. Weathering Big Bear and the Little Bear. History. Who represented the U.S. in the turnover ceremonies of U.S. rule to the Republic of the Philippines? Infant Jesus. Theodore Roosevelt. No. This was in July 4, 1946. He represented the United States in a turnover ceremonies of U.S. rule to the Republic of the Philippines. All right. William McKinley. That is wrong. Divine Light. John F. Kennedy. John F. Kennedy is wrong. Answer is the Honorable Paul McNutt. Mathematics. What is the greatest common factor of 16, 48, and 24? 16, 48, and 24. We're looking for the greatest common factor, Lourdes. 80. Correct. 
the arts. Who built the unique old bamboo organ in Las Piñas? Lourdes. Padre, Padre Diego Serra. Padre Diego Serra is right. Science. What is a device that controls the heating or cooling of a substance in order to maintain it at a constant temperature? Lourdes. Thermostat. Yes, thermostat is right. General information. What is the only active volcano in Kamigin? Divine light, Kamigin. Kibok, Kibok. Yes, Kibok, Kibok. History. What position was held by Juan Ponce Enrile during the Edsa Revolution? And even before that, even Jesus. Chief of Staff. No. Lourdes. Secretary of National Defense. Sorry, that's wrong. In a different system under the Marcos administration. Canosa. Military General. No. Divine Light. Actually, Lourdes, very close, but that was after the Edsa Revolution um, when the term secretary was brought back into government. It used to be called the Minister of National Defense. And question number nine, mathematics. A bakery raised the price of hopia from four pesos to five pesos and fifty centavos. What is the percentage increase in the price? A bakery raised the price of their hopia from four pesos to five fifty. What is the percentage increase in their price? Divine Light? 96%. That's wrong. Infant Jesus, let's hear your answer. 15%. That's wrong. Lourdes? 12.5%. Also wrong. Anosa, you have a chance. Go ahead. 25%. 37.5% is the answer. Itong si MM talaga, no? The arts. According to a Visayan legend, what was born out of the teardrops of a giant who was rejected by the woman he loved? According to a Visayan legend, what was born out of the teardrops of a giant who was rejected by the woman he loved. M.M.? Little demons. Little demons? No. Uh, because of love, Lourdes. Man. Man, no. Anyone else? Time is up. The answer is the Chocolate Hills of Bohol. And we're through with our round and our competition at this level. We have a champion, Lourdes School of Quezon City. Joseph and Victor will advance to the quarterfinals. Divine Light, thank you very much. Panosa, thank you very much for joining us. And in Fun Jesus Academy, we hope to have your schools again next year. But Joseph and Victor will stay where they are because they will be back for the bonus round right after this announcement. This portion was brought to you by Milo, the Olympic energy drink every day. Amazing Facts is brought to you by Compton's Encyclopedia. Who is the father of medicine? The answer, Hippocrates, outstanding physician of ancient Greece. On page 282, volume 14 of Compton's Encyclopedia. Amazing Facts was brought to you by Compton's Encyclopedia. To inspire ambition, to stimulate the imagination, to provide... Well, then let's begin with our first one. Okay, Joseph and Victor, this is where we give you 10 questions. You answer quickly. Tell me when you're ready. So you're ready. I'll show you what your choices are. Ready. All right. Let's take a look now at our board and our screen up there. Choose one. When you choose one, I'll begin immediately. Time warped, caps lock, or tourist class. I'll explain that as well. Make it quick. Time warp, caps lock, tourist class. Caps lock. Okay, this will be countries. Uh, you'll have to find the cities or capitals I will mention. Okay, I'll give a capital or a city, name the country where you find it. That's the easiest of them all. Let's begin. Beijing, capital of? China. Tokyo is located where? Japan. Manila is? Philippines. Bandar Seri Begawan. Brunei. Katrona Towers. Pass. Jakarta. Indonesia. White House. 
United States. Phnom Penh. Cambodia. The Eiffel Tower. Paris. France. Where is Paris? France. Athens. Greece. The Petronas Towers, the tallest towers in the world. The tallest buildings in the world. You find it's in Kuala Lumpur. Where is Kuala Lumpur? That's where you find the Petronas Towers. Malaysia. Right. Kuala Lumpur. Now this is a little too easy for you. I thought it was a little unfair. But anyway, well, it's a bonus round. And what are bonuses for? But easy money. Okay. This is for grade two students. Anyway, let's take a look at our at our board over there, 6,000 pesos plus 2,350, 8,350 pesos for Joseph and Victor. Congratulations. This portion was brought to you by Prumil, now enhanced with five nucleotides. Breast milk is best for babies up to two years. All right, guys, you got a perfect score there, and that's why you now have 8,350 pesos. Perfect time for money. It's the Christmas season. Okay, this is the good news. I can give you 2,000 pesos more. As usual, you'll take a look at our board. I'll give you a set of jumbled letters. Make some sense out of it. Form a new word. I'll give you a clue to help you out. Let's take a look at that set of letters. P-U-N-S-C-O-T-M-I-O-N. Here's your clue. The purchase and use of goods and services. Consumption. All right, that's correct. One extra 2,000 gives you 10,350 pesos. Congratulations to both of you, Joseph and Victor. If you want your money, it's over here. We'll see you for the quarterfinals. Prepare for that and study hard. All right. Thank you very much and welcome. We'll see you all right after this break. We'll give you the competition, the monthly finals, that is, at the high school level. Don't go away. are back here as well this time for the monthly finals only one winning team will move on to the quarterfinals of battle of the brain so let's meet our contestants today from Pasig Catholic College Christine Lourdes Darang and Jim Michael Esteban from Canosa School Santa Rosa Laguna Paolo Jose Perez and Matthew Alfonso Alianza from St. Joseph College of Nova Liches, Ezequiel Disquipulo and Julianne Samonte. And from Angelicum College, Samuel Versosa Jr. and Michael Bealinia. Welcome to our contestants and of course good luck because this is a big day for all of you. Only one team will move on to the quarterfinals and which will it be? We'll find out after two rounds. But first, let's test your buzzers. Pass it Catholic College. There goes your buzzer. Let's meet them. Christine is 15 years old. She's in fourth year. And she is a junior mother butler. And if you missed that episode, let's ask her to explain that again. What exactly is a junior mother butler and what does she do? We serve in the mass. You serve in the mass. Okay. It's some kind of female counterpart of the sacristan. Okay. Yes, sir. Is this a common thing happening nowadays or just in your area? Or is this a school organization or a community organization? Actually, it's a community organization. I hope to see more of the females, young females, working and helping out in the Mass. After all, we're all God's children, right? All right, Christine, thank you very much. She would like to move on to accountancy and may perhaps a career in law. Jim, by the way, is only 15 years old. He's in third year and he is a math club president. And his dream is to become a doctor. And what kind of doctor, Jim? A uh, pediatrician. A pediatrician. I wonder if you're the kind of guy who likes to work with young kids. Do you enjoy young kids? Yes. Okay. All right, you have to do that, as I said. Of course, only enjoy them as a doctor. Let's go to Canosa School, Santa Rosa. This is 16-year-old Paolo. He's in fourth year. His best subjects include history and literature. Now, that's one great subject, literature. What's your favorite book? I think it's a book that, or a novel or a piece of literature you've taken up in high school. What's your favorite? 
Uh, not exactly that kind of feel. Not exactly that kind of what is that? That that book. I I love the subject, but I don't have in any. You don't. You like the subject literature, but you don't like literature. No, the books. Oh, you don't like the books. Yes. So what do you like? The teacher? W which one? <laughs> not really. <laughs> Masarap lang yung pag pagtuturo ng literature sa klase. That's right. Sometimes it happens. You know, you're not exactly fond of books or literature. But you just enjoy the way it's being taught to you. So maybe that's what he's trying to say. Thank you very much. He would like to become a civil engineer after college. And Matthew is his partner. Matthew is a member of TECASA. Is that right? T-E-C-A-S-A. -E what is that? It's the school theater group. The school theater group. Do you act in it? Or are you behind the stage? Uh, not yet. We're still, do we're still doing rehearsals. So what's your plan? What's your plan? What is the, uh, the stage play that you plan to uh, secret. release? Secret. Ah, secret. Is that the name of the play or secret talaga? <laughs> Only secret you know. Muna. Secret muna. Bakit? Para maraming nanonood. They could like watch and anticipate this program of yours. Uh, I'm not at liberty to discuss it kasi uh, yung director namin baka magalit sa akin pagbalik ko eh. Wow ah. Sa Conosa School sa Santa Rosa, meron silang secret uh, program. Okay, we'll find out what that is maybe next year. Okay, St. Joseph College, Novaliches. You're next. Your buzzer, please. Okay. Um, this is 16-year-old Ezekiel. He's in fourth year, and he's the vice president of the computer club and associate editor of The Torch. Okay. He plans on taking a BS Biology as a pre-med degree. Have you already found out whether you have been accepted in the universities you've applied to, Ezekiel? Um, not yet. Not yet. How many universities or colleges have you applied to, by the way, Ezekiel? Um, as of now, only two. Only two? Diba, medyo risky yun, dalawa lang? Or do you plan to apply in more colleges? I'm planning to apply in more colleges. Okay. What's a good number to play safe? Unless you're the genius in your school, but what's a good number of colleges to apply to? Um, as of now, about three. About three lang, ha? Huh? Okay, ha? Huh? Kakatakot yan. All right, Ezekiel, uh, good luck to you in your... Uh, studies in college and your partner is Julie she's 16 years old she's in fourth year and she is the president of the math society and editor-in-chief of the torch math and Filipino are her favorite subjects how about you Julie ilan, ilan yung colleges or universities that you've applied to so far um, also two also two hanggang dyan na lang o uh, mas marami pa uh, mayroon pa man target ilan kaya Mat um, four four that's a better number at least Julie Okay, you know, nowadays it's hard to get into the best schools and universities. You have to play safe. Um, I know a lot of people who just apply in one or two colleges, end up not being accepted. They have to skip a year and wait for the following year to apply again. All right, thank you very much. Let's go to Angelicum College. Your buzzer, please. This is Samuel. He's in fourth year, president of the student council and of the science club. He's a sports editor of their school paper. Samuel, what is the most exciting or interesting sport to write about? To write about, ah? Basketball. Yung makulay, maraming drama, basketball. Why, why is that, Samuel? Because it's my favorite sport. Ah, okay. So your heart's in it, so you also tend to write a lot of things about it because you're very interested in it. He hopes to be a civil engineer when he's through with college. His partner is Michael, 16 years old, in fourth year, staff writer of the school paper. You don't write the sports articles, Michael. That's what Samuel does. What do you write? Sir, in our school paper, the articles every reporter writes is shuffled. It's okay. shuffled every... So, iba-iba yung mga assignments. But most of the time, most of my articles are news articles. News articles, okay. And he would like to take up political science as a pre-law degree in college. Thank you very much, young ladies and young gentlemen. Let's begin with our competition. This is the monthly finals. And easy questions will give you 300 pesos for every correct answer. Let's begin with the arts. What song by Peter, Paul, and Mary tells of a dragon tamed by a little boy? Angelico. The full title and the correct title. Manani version story. Puff the Magic Dragon. That is the correct title. Puff the Magic Dragon. Science. What organelle within the cytoplasm of plant and animal cells carries out aerobic respiration? Angelicum again. Ribosomes. Wrong. Canosa. Stomata. Also wrong. 
Pasig. Mitochondria. Correct, the mitochondria. Or the mitochondria. Mathematics. Well, after all, Jim here would like to be a doctor. He's on the right track. Mathematics. If the square root of x increased by 9 is 5, what is the positive value of square root of x? If the square root of x increased by 9 is 5, what is the positive value of square root of x? Canosa. 2. 2 is wrong. Angelica. 3. Also wrong. Passing. 16. No, that's wrong. Answer is 4. General information. Sri Lanka was formerly known by what name? Angelica. Ceylon. Yes, Ceylon. History. Who was the Prime Minister of China at the time? Maraming Prime Ministers of China. Kanosa. Your guess might be right. Mao Che Tung. That's wrong. Prime Minister of China at the time, the Tiananmen Square massacre took place. Angelica. Deng Xiaoping. That's not correct. He was Li Pang, the arts. What arachnid swatting and canine mistreating cartoon feline was created and drawn by Jim Davis? That's a clue. Garfield. And also says, Garfield, you're correct. Let's go to our next question. It's in science. What is the first stomach of the ruminants, which contains microorganisms which can break down cellulose? Yes, St. Joseph? Rumen. That's right, rumen. <laughs> Mathematics. In a pie chart, how many degrees is the central angle of the segment representing 35%? In a pie chart, how many degrees is the central angle of the segment representing 35%? We're looking for the number of degrees. Yes, classic. 82 degrees. That's wrong. Angelicum. 15 degrees. Wrong. Okay, St. Joseph. 35 degrees. That's also wrong. Canosa, it's all yours. Give me an answer. 126 degrees. Say that again. 126 degrees. Yes, that is right. 126 degrees. Question number nine is general information. What do you call the study of hearing disorders and rehabilitation of individuals with hearing defects? Angelica. Otology. Otology. That's wrong. What do you call the study of hearing disorders and rehabilitation of individuals with hearing defects? Not otology, but audiology. As in audio. History. Mother Ignacia del Espiritu Santo founded which congregation? Mother Ignacia del Espiritu Santo founded which congregation? Canosa. Sisters of Mary Immaculate. That's wrong. If I'm not mistaken, she will be beatified next year. Angelicum. Children of Mary. No. What the children of God? Huh? Okay. St. Joseph College. Um, the congregation of the Holy Spirit. No. no. Pasig, would you like to answer? RVM, the RVM, the Religious of the Virgin Mary. Okay, we're through with our first round. Let's check our scores. 600 points for Canosa and Angelicum College. They share first place. And 300 points for Pasig and another 300 points for St. Joseph. They will share second place. So it's first place for two schools, second place for two schools. It's a tight race. We'll have more of it right after this break. The General Educational Development Program from the USA for world-class mastery of math, science, English, comprehension, writing, and speaking. JED equips your child for success.
shine shoe polish is enriched with lanolin to protect waterproof and give leather shoes that cool and brilliant shine. True Shine, the shoe-friendly polish for the cool generation. Shine True Polish for the shine. You know what's in every glass of instant bear brand? The best milk for your family that comes from world famous bear brand of Switzerland. So rich, pure, wholesome, and delicious. Every glass a nutritious blend of the health giving goodness. Only the finest filled milk and gear. So what's in every glass of instant bear brand? Health, freshness, and quality that's best for your family. Instant bear brand, the ideal family milk. our monthly finals in addition to their cash prizes which they will receive after this program the high school monthly winners win for themselves and their school a Compton's Interactive Encyclopedia CD-ROM from the Bard Press Trade Incorporated exclusive distributors of Compton's Encyclopedia they also win for their school a special prize from Success Unlimited Enterprises pati yung coach nyo kasama sa panalo okay the winning coach which is a coach of the winning team, will receive a special gift pack from True Shine Shoe Polish enriched with lanolin. True Shine is for the young generation. I'm sure bata pa yung mga coach niyo. Okay, let's go now to our questions. For high school, it will be 400 pesos for every correct answer in our difficult round. So here goes our difficult question number one in our final round. Who was the history though? This is history. Who was this revolutionary woman from Iloilo who converted her family's hacienda home. Angelicum. Edora Magbano. That's wrong. She converted their home into a hospital, Pasig Catholic College. Teresa Magbano. That's wrong. Canosa. Trinidad Texon. That's also wrong. She admitted revolutionaries during both wars against Spain and the U.S. into this hospital. Her home converted into a hospital. St. Joseph, do you have an answer? Jose, Jose Pallanes Escoda. That's wrong. Nazaria Lagos is the answer. General information. <laughs> what is the last period of the Stone Age? Angelicum? Paleolithic. No. Characterized by subtle communities. Pasig. Neolithic. Yes, the Neolithic period. <laughs> Mathematics. No, math, no, take it down for 30 seconds. What are the coordinates of the intersection of the graphs of 2x plus 3y is equal to 4 and 6x minus 2y is equal to 1? Coordinates of the intersection of the graphs 2x plus 3y is equal to 4 and 6x minus 2y is equal to 1. You have 30 seconds, it begins now. time 30 seconds is what we're giving you still a tight competition but passing Catholic College has broken away from the rest they now have 800 points to lead the pack time is up for all of you X is equal to one half Y is one the arts now in Greek mythology what river of the underworld in which the water... Angelicum? River Styx. No. In which the water, when drunk, brought forgetfulness of the past. St. Joseph. Leith. That's correct. Science. What do you call the process of hardening rubber by heating it with sulfur or sulfur compounds? Angelicum? Vulcanization. Or vulcanizing, yes. History. Who was the bishop and leader of different religious orders who urged the king of Spain to abolish slavery in the Philippines? Bishop tried to convince the king of Spain to abolish slavery in the Philippines. He was Bishop Domingo de Salazar. General information. In which town and province can you find the Philippine Refugee Processing Center, which was established in 1979, Canosa? Town and province, two answers. Uh, Bataan. Incomplete. 
This was to take care of war refugees from Vietnam, Kampuchea, or which is now Cambodia, and Laos. They were there to take care of Indo-Chinese refugees fleeing the war in their countries. In Chalikum? Balanga Bataan. Where? Balanga Bataan. Palanga Bataan, that's wrong. Meron bang ganon sa Bataan? Palanga Town? Meron bang ganon? The answer is, anyone? Morong. Morong in Bataan is the correct answer. Question number eight, we're running out of questions. Remember, 500 points for every correct answer. Anyone can still win this championship and advance to the quarterfinals. Mathematics again. If X copies of sports magazine cost a total of P pesos, what is the cost of M copies of the magazine? If X copies of sports magazine cost a total of P pesos, what is the cost of M copies of the magazine? Those are the variables. X, P, and N. What's the answer? St. Joseph. X over M, P. Wrong. Pasig? M is equal to P, X. M is equal to B, X. Wrong. Angelicum? M is equal to X over P. Wrong. Anosa? M is equal to P over X. M is equal to P over X. You're all wrong. The answer is MP over X. All right, we're down to our last two questions. And so far, Angelicum is in the lead with 1,100. But remember, with 500 points for every correct answer, it's still mathematically possible for any one of our teams here to win this championship and move to the quarterfinals. So good luck. Here goes question number nine. It's in the arts. The book, I Walk With Heroes, was the autobiography of which famous Filipino diplomat and writer? Angelicum? Carlos P. Romulo. You are correct. And science. In physics, what do you call the product of the mass of a body and its linear velocity? Canosa. Density. Wrong. Product of the mass of a body and its linear, act, linear velocity, Angelicum. Force. That's wrong. We'll have to minus a thousand points. Now, just kidding. Pasig Catholic College. Momentum. Correct. But we have a champion. It's Angelicum College. They finished with 1,600 points. They are the champions and they move on to the quarterfinals. Pasig Catholic College finishes with 1,300. 600 points for Canosa and 800 for St. Joseph College in Novalice. Samuel and Michael, stay where you are. We'll have your bonus round after this break. That is right, Melanca, very good, that is correct. Welcome to another episode of Battle of the Brains. This is the battle of the best and the brightest students throughout the country. Edward Lear. That is right. Oh, the most fantastic of We're back here for the bonus rounds of Michael and Samuel. Congratulations, guys. You not only take home 1600 at this point, you can take home a lot more money, as you will soon find out. But then, of course, let me remind you that your school should be celebrating right now because you will be back for the quarterfinals of Battle of the Brains. That leaves you with just one more step before you go into the grand finals. But let's forget about that. Bonus round muna tayo, okay? Forget about everything and just concentrate on my next 10 questions. Now here are your choices. Let's take a look at them. We have up there on our screen, Dark Secret, Adarna, or Something About Mary. Dark Secret, Adarna, Something About Mary. Make it quick, come on. Dark Secret. Dark Secret. Yun yung secret ng uh, isang school kanina, no? Dungkul sa play nila, which for some reason they cannot release to the public. But anyway, your dark secret will be words with the word black in it. Oh, medyo madali yun. Okay? That's what we're looking for. Words or names or titles or phrases even with the word black in it. 
So are you ready? Ready. Let's go. Ready. Title character in the children's classic by Anna Sewell. Black Beauty. Card game of 21. Black, Black Jack. The Jolly Roger flag used by pirates. What? What pass, is it pass. called? Another name for it. <laughs> Bruce discoloration of the flesh surrounding the eye. Especially after an accident or a fight. Bruce, uh, black, black eye. Another term for crude oil. Black gold. Extortion by the threat of exposure black or meal. criminal prosecution. Black. Illicit trade of goods or currencies in violation of price controls, rationing, and other government restrictions. Black market. One who forges and shapes iron with an anvil black and hammer. Meal. Index of persons or organizations disapproved of, boycotted, or suspected of disloyalty. Black sheep. Black sheep. Extraordinary power practices or practice Black in magic. league with the devil. The Jolly Roger flag used by the pirates. Black flag. <laughs> One who... Oh, time has run out on you. But alamot tama yon black flag. Although that's the first time I've heard of that, it's also called a black flag. The Jolly Roger, the skull with the crossbones. All right, so tama kayo, black flag. One who forges and shapes iron, the blacksmith. Illicit trade of goods, black market. Extortion, blackmail. Crude oil, black gold. Bruce, discoloration of the flesh around the eye, black eye. Card game of 21, blackjack. Title character, the horse in Anna Sewell, black beauty. Index of persons or organizations disapproved of, boycotted, or suspended because of disloyalty in the black sheep. Sa pamilya, yung black sheep, yung you know, the child who is different from the rest, but we call this a black list of names. Black list. Extraordinary power because of some collusion with the devil. Black magic. Still, 9 out of 10 for 5,400. Add that to your 1,600. Michael and Samuel, take a look. You have 7,000 pesos in the bag. Now let's move on to your next bonus round. This time I can add 2,000 pesos for both of you. Let's be generous. It's Christmas time. Take a look at our set of jumbled letters. S-H-I-F-M-E-L. Make some sense out of it. Here's your clue. Answer within 30 seconds. If you're right, 2,000 pesos for you. Language spoken in Northern Belgium. Flemish. What's that? Flemish. Flemish is right. 2,000 pesos for Sambo and Michael. They take home a grand total of 9,000 pesos. Congratulations. Here it is. All for you in this Christmas time. All right. Thank you very much to Samuel and Michael. And of course, congratulations to Angelicum College. We'll see them in the quarterfinals of Battle of the Brains. And I'll see you right after this break. We'll have the college round. To inspire ambition, to stimulate the imagination, to provide accurate information to the inquisitive mind, Compton's Encyclopedia and the new version is brought to you by PLDT, Touching Lives. Welcome back, our monthly finals continues and let's meet our contestants for today's finals. From PUP Santa Mesa, let's say hello to Percival Biadora. From PLM, Mark Anthony Ang. From Adamson University, Alvin Huyan. And from UP Diliman, June Prosini Anave. All right, gentlemen, this is the monthly finals. Our winner moves on to the quarterfinals. And from there, the winner over there will move on to the grand finals where he can take home as much as half a million pesos in can. So that's going to be an interesting competition. So let's start off by testing your buzzers. Let's start with you, Percy. This is Percy from PUP. He is 20 years old now, fourth year, taking up broadcast communications. He's a president of his class and a member of the PUP Quizzers Club. He plans on proceeding to graduate school for a degree in liberal arts. Now, Percy, you know, the year is coming to an end. We'll be saying goodbye to 1998. Now, tell me what you think would be the most important event of the year. Well... I think it's the recently concluded APEC Summit. All right, the APEC Summit or the APEC Summit was just concluded. Was that successful or was that not successful at all, Percy, in your eyes? Well, I'm not in a position to quantify the answer, but I think so far, as far as our president is concerned, it is a diplomatically successful right. 
um, undertaking for him. All right, playing it safe, Percy. Thank you very much. Let's go to PLM, Mark. Your buzzer, please. Mark is 21 years old and he's in fourth year chemical engineering. Mark is on the board of representatives of the Philippine Institute of Chemical Engineers and he's part of that junior chapter of Metro Manila. That's the board of representatives over there. How about you, Mark? Looking back at the year, what's one event that defines the entire, entire year, at least the most interesting, memorable event, news event? I think uh, about the Spratly side then. The Spratly's mm -hmm. conflict. Okay, pwedeng international event, ah, hindi lang local event. So for Mark, yung Spratly's conflict, you think that's gonna get any better? Uh, I hope so. All right, we hope so too. After all, security of our nation at stake here. Thank you very much, Adamson University. Alvin, let's hear your buzzer. Alvin is 20 years old, in third year, mass comm student, editor-in-chief of the Adamson Chronicle, hopes to be a writer. Siguraman, Alvin, you've thought about this for your own paper. One event of the year that stands out? It will definitely be the Bill Clinton-Monica Lewinsky affair. Why the dun, eh, Alvin? Yeah. Now, why would a sexual affair be interesting to define the entire year? Why would that have that kind of uh, weight and gravity? Be based on what's happening, it, I think it shook the whole world. So it will definitely be the news of the year. All right. It's actually the most covered event of the year, Alvin. So in a way, you're right there. Let's go to UP Dileman, Junior Buzzer, please. Junior is 20 years old. He's in fourth year taking up AB Journalism. He's planning on proceeding to law school after college. He would like to be a sportscaster. Ibahin natin yung tanong, Jun. Sports naman. Most important, significant sports event of the year. Pwedeng international, hindi lang local. Um, I guess it will be the lockout of the NBA. Lockout of the NBA. Wala pang NBA, ano? Dahil doon. All right. Thank you much, Jun. A lot of people are frustrated about that. Okay, Mark, Percy, Alvin, and June, let's begin our round. This will be easy questions. Let's start with the arts. 400 pesos for every correct answer. Let's check that buzzer again, June. Okay, there it goes. Let's begin. As I said, 400 pesos for every correct answer. Let's begin with the arts. What is the title of the 1961 movie about a character from Tondo that was Joseph Estrada's first major starring role? Alvin. Ito ang Pinoy. That's not correct. June. Wrong. The character. Character from Tondo that was Joseph Estrada's first starring role. He got famous for this character. Percy. Ashong Salonga. Correct. Ashong Salonga. Science. 1.5 milliliters of water is placed in a 2.25 liter closed metal cylinder. The system is heated so that the water is completely converted to gas. What is the volume of water in this state? 1.5 milliliters of water is placed in a 2.25 liter closed metal cylinder. The system is heated so that the water is completely converted to gas. What is the volume of water in this state? June, let's hear your answer. 15 liters. That's wrong. Mark? Um, uh, 15... Mill milliliters. That's wrong. What is the volume of water in this state? We are looking at Alvin's answer. Go ahead. 1.5 milliliters. Say that again. 1.5 milliliters. That is wrong. Percy. 1.2 milliliters. 2.25 liters. General information. PCOR or PICOR is the Philippine Stock Exchange's code letters for which blue chip company? It's the code for which blue chip company being traded at the Philippine Stock Exchange? PICOR, P C O R. June? Philippine Amusements and Gaming Corporation. They're not listed. That's not a public issue. Percy? PLDT. No. That's PEL, P-E-L. Mark? Uh, San Miguel Beer. San Miguel, San San Miguel, Miguel Beer. Or uh, San Miguel Corporation. Corporation. No, that's SMC. P-C-O-R. Petron Corporation. Mathematics. A man invests one-third of his capital at 1.5% interest per month and the remainder at 2% per month. What is his capital if his total monthly income is 440 pesos? A 
A man invests one-third of his capital at 1.5% interest per month and the remainder at 2% per month. What is his capital if his total monthly income is 440 pesos? You have 30 seconds, gentlemen. Take your time. Still the first round, easy questions, monthly finals of Battle of the Brains. We have PUP, PLM, Adamson, and UP Diliman in competition here. Alvin. 1,500 pesos. That's wrong. Mark. 8,800 8, pesos. Also wrong. There goes the bell. Time is up. Answer is 24,000 pesos. History. Who was a presidential candidate of Partido Republica who ran for the 1935 elections? Percy. Sergio Osmeña. No. Partido Republica. Mark. Uh, Manuel Quezon. That's wrong. Alvin. Isabella de los Reyes. That's also wrong. June, would you like to try? 1935 elections. Felipe Calderon. No, it was Gregorio Aglipay. Arts. Morgan Le Fay is a sister of which legendary king? Morgan Le Fay is a sister of which king, Percy? King Arthur. Yes, King Arthur. Science. What do you call the energy liberated or absorbed as a result of neutralizing one mole of acid or base? Mark? Heat of formation. That's wrong. Energy liberated or absorbed as a result of neutralizing one mole of acid or base. What is this process called? Or what do you call this kind of energy? Alvin? Adibayatic. No. It's the heat of neutralization or enthalpy change of neutralization. General information. Which 11th round pick of football's Dallas Cowboys was a member of the NBA's Los Angeles Lakers in 1972, June? Lu Alcindor or Karim no. Jabbar. Karim Jabbar. He was not with the Dallas Cowboys. And then went on to coach the New York Knicks in the NBA. Mark. Pat Riley. Yes, Pat Riley. 11th round pick of the Dallas Cowboys. Coached for the Lakers, coached for the New York Knicks. Where is he now, Mark? June, you're the newscaster. Oh, you're the sportscaster. Miami Heat. That's where he is right now. Okay, mathematics. A rectangle is 15 and 1 half meters long and 7 and 1 fourth meter wide. What is its perimeter? Mark. A rectangle uh, 30, is 15 and one half meters long. 35.5, 35.5 5 meters. That's wrong. June? Um, 45 meters. 45 meters, wrong. Alvin? 45.5 meters. All right, 45 and a half meters. <laughs> History. Who was the first Grand Inquisitor General of the Inquisition in Spain, June? Tomás de Torquemada. Yes, Tomás de Torquemada. And we're through with our first round. And the lead is Percy with 800, although he's been silent for the last few questions. 400 points each for our next three contenders, Mark, Alvin, and June. They all have 400. They all share second place. We'll have more of this competition right after this break. The General Educational Development Program from the USA for world-class mastery of math, science, English, comprehension, writing, and speaking. JED equips your child for success. as our experience of sounds and images has evolved. So has PLDT continued to lead. 
in opening new dimensions in human communication. To keep us attuned to the times and closer with each other, regardless of time and distance. PLDT, touching lives. Nescafe gives you a soulful experience. Warm Blends, the special 60th anniversary album featuring songs about love and friendship from Jim Brickman. Southern Suns. Take that. And a lot more, including hits from Lea Salonga, Eraserheads, and Ariel Rivera. Warm Blends, only from Nescafe. Brains. This is still the monthly finals, and we're entering now into our final round at the college level. These are difficult questions now, gentlemen. It will be 600 pesos for every correct answer. Okay, aside from all the cash awards that you will take home today, our winner will take home for himself a Compton's Interactive Encyclopedia CD-ROM from the Bard Press Trade Incorporated, exclusive distributor of Compton's Encyclopedia. Also, a special prize from Success Unlimited Enterprises and a gift pack for yourself from True Shine Shoe Polish Enriched with Lanolin. True Shine is for your generation. All right, let's go to science now. Question number one. What do you call a type of chemical formula that indicates the simplest whole number ratio? June. Empirical formula. Correct. Next question, the arts. What was the title of the novel about sin and redemption written by Graham Greene? Percy? The Power and the Glory. No. June. The Heart of the Matter. Wrong. Let me continue again. Title of the novel about sin and redemption written by Graham Greene, published in 1938. Novel about sin and redemption by Graham Greene. It's called Alvin. No answer. Mark. The Scene. Brighton Rock. Mathematics. Using a prime number base, what is the simplified form of 4 raised to the exponent n times 8 raised to the exponent n? Using a prime number base, what is the simplified form of 4 raised to the exponent n times 8 raised to the exponent n? Mark. 2 raised to 5n. Yes, very good. History. What Asian country has its northern part known by the Mongols as Kitai? Mark. Um, Macau? No, during the time of Genghis Khan. Alvin? China. Yes, China. General information. What is another name of minimal access surgery? Percy. Heart bypass operation made possible by the miniaturization of television cameras. What is another name for minimal access surgery made possible by the miniaturization of television cameras? Little TV cameras inside the body helping you out. What is this called, Jun? Miniaturism. No. Alvin? The cathode ray tube technology. No. It's called laparoscopic surgery, or lap surgery, science. What do you call the violent and sudden boiling of a liquid caused by superheating at a pressure above atmospheric pressure? What do you call the violent and sudden boiling of a liquid? Mark? Caused by superheating, Percy. 
ebullition? No. At a pressure above atmospheric pressure. All right, Alvin. Radioactivity. No. June? Time's up. Bumping is the answer. Let's try the arts. Who wrote the play Mother Courage and Her Children? Percy. Joel Chandler Harris. No. Chronicle of 30 Years War, June. Bertolt Brecht. That's right, Bertolt Brecht. <laughs> Mathematics. Two dice are thrown at the same time. What is the probability that 11 spots will turn up? Or 11 dots will turn up. Percy. 1 over 18. Yes, 1 over 18. <clears throat> okay, gentlemen, we are down to our final two questions. <laughs> Let's take a look at our scores because it's turning out to be an extremely tight race. 1,600, June is in the lead. 1,400, Percival is just, just there, very close to June. And 1,000 points each for Mark and Alvin. Yes, it is possible for both of them to still catch up. We have two final questions in the pile. It is 600 points for every correct answer. One correct answer from Alvin, for example, puts him right at number one, tied with June. So let's go to history. Who organized the first guerrilla forces against the Japanese? June? Luis Taruk. Wrong. Against the Japanese in the Philippines in December 1941. Who organized the first guerrilla forces against the Japanese? Alvin. Crisante Evangelista. That is wrong. Percy. Ferdinand Marcos. That's not correct. Mark, for 600 points. June, there's a hall named after this guy in your school where the student council is. Vincent's. Wenceslao Vincent's or Vincent's Hall. Okay. Last question, gentlemen. Now, here's what it looks like. If Mark and Alvin get this right, then they will tie with June and we will have a tie breaking question. If Percy is correct, then he wins. If June is right, then of course he wins. If not, if you get it right, then our current leader will be the champion, and that is June. So one of you will have to answer to get into the quarterfinals. Of course, June doesn't have to do any of that. Let's go to general information. Be quick. To what country do the Galapagos Islands belong? June. Guatemala. Wrong. Percy, if you're right, you're the champion. You move to the quarterfinals. Peru. Wrong. Mark, you tie with June if you're correct. Denmark. Denmark. Nope. Oh. Alvin, to tie with June. Great Britain. Ecuador is the answer. June of UP Diliman is the champion with 1,600 points. He moves on to our quarter finals. Congratulations to June. Percy takes home 1,400. Mark and Alvin take home 1,000 pesos each. And June will stay where he is for his bonus round after this. This portion was brought to you by PLDT. Touching lives. That is right, Melanca. Very good. That is correct. Welcome to another episode of Battle of the Brave. This is the battle of the best and the brightest students throughout the country. Edward Lear. That is right. Shine Shoe Polish is the shoe polish for the young generation. True Shine is enriched with lanolin to give leather shoes that cool and brilliant shine. True Shine Shoe Polish for the shine. True Shine Shoe Polish gives you these cool manners. Be on time. 
Know the time is gold. Set your watch 10 minutes earlier so you'll always be on time. Never apologize for being early for an appointment. And call whenever you're going to be late. It's the best way to show that you respect other people's time. Cool Manners was brought to you by True Shine Shoe Polish, the shoe polish for the young generation. Congratulations to Chun of UB Diliman. He moves on to the quarterfinals of Battle of the Brains, and he will take home a lot of money today. But of course, Chun, that's up to you, really, and how you will do in our next two bonus rounds. So far, you have 1,600. Tell me when you're ready, because I will show you now three choices to choose from. This will be the theme that will cover your bonus questions. Let's take a look. You have on cam, Hall of Justice, and Jack Description. Choose one. I'll take Jack Description. Jack Description. That's a wise choice. I'll tell you why. We are looking for words, phrases, names, or titles which have the word Jack or name Jack in them. So, madali na These words have the word or Jack in them them. So, let's pick out those questions. Ready now? Ready. Let's go. A sh short coat usually waist or hip length. Jacket. A tree of tropical Asia Jackson. bearing large edible fruit. A toy consisting of a puppet that springs out of a box. Jack in the box. A person who can do many kinds of work. Usually a master of none. Jack of all trades. Game played with a set of metal pieces and a ball. Little Jack girls, Stone. okay. A top prize or reward? Jackpot. Could be a male ass or donkey or a foolish or stupid person. Jackass. Popular group where the king of pop, Michael, originated. Jackson 5. A playing card showing the figure of a young man or prince. Jack. What do you call the mid-air takeover of an aircraft? Siege of an aircraft. Hijack. Okay. Let's wait for our buzzer to sound. Let's go back to all your answers. I think you did pretty well here. Jackson 5, yes, the group of uh, Michael Jackson. Did you say Jackstone 5 or Jackson 5? Jackson 5. Jackson 5. Well, we, we did Jackstone 5, right? Ibayon. But Jackstone tama yon, no? A ball and uh, some. Uh, where was that? That's uh, gameplay with a set of metal pieces and a ball. Means some plastic yung pieces na yon. That's Jackstone. Jack of all trades, a guy who can do all sorts of work. Jack in a box, springs out of the box. Jack fruit, a large edible fruit. Jacket is a short coat. Top prize is jackpot. A male donkey or a foolish person is a jackass. And a playing card with a prince on it, that's called the jack. So that's 10 out of 10. Perfect score, 6,000 pesos plus 1,600. June, you have a subtotal of 7,600 pesos. All right. Now, I can give you 2,000 pesos more. So you know what this round is going to be like. This will be, uh, I'll be giving you rather a set of jumbled letters. Take a look at them. N-A-M-E-I-S-D-I-M-O. That's your set of jumbled letters. That doesn't make any sense. Form a word out of it. Here's your clue. In 30 seconds, give me an answer. Jewish rabbi who drew up the 13 principles, a summary of the basic beliefs of Judaism. up. Jewish rabbi who drew up the 13 principles, a summary of the basic beliefs of Judaism. Maimonides is the correct answer, but that's okay, June, because 7,600 is still a lot of money. Here it is, all yours. Congratulations, I'll see you in the quarterfinals. Good luck to you. I will be back after this break, so please don't change that dial, don't go away.